Uh, so I'm going to introduce Kate Lovelace Collins and Sue Menia, uh, who are going to showcase some of the amazing work that you've been doing contributing to that change. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Anna. Okay, shall I start off? Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Um, so, as Anna alluded to, we, um, we've been trying to celebrate the work of forums and really put some focus on what they do and their achievements and the impact that, despite this exceptionally challenging environment, the impact that they're having for families, the changes they're making for families, and really to just put a bit more power and voice behind the fact that parent participation uh, matters and it's still working, it's still making a difference, even though we're coming up against it an awful lot. And we know that in this room, there are loads of people that have been involved in this project. So we want to say a massive thank you before we go in any further uh, talking about it. And the only reason we didn't get you up here with us is we've only got 10 minutes. But um, <laughs> thank you to everybody that, that's been contributing to this project. So just to say briefly a little bit more about it before we move on and talk about the wonderful examples. We've been sharing these success stories via social media, um, in written form, in podcasts. We're just trying to reach and demonstrate and show the role of forums because we know there can be misconceptions about the roles of forums. And we're thinking in contact, what can we do to support forums and um, make it clear out there that we're in this together and you know, clear with partners what their role is, what they're doing and what they're able to do. Um, we want to raise the, the profile of forums and we want to make sure that we're speaking to as many families as possible. So we want to uh, feature different people doing different things in forums, different activities, and we want to make sure that we're showing and talking about underrepresented groups so anybody watching us can think, oh, I might be able to get involved or I might be able to share my experience. That's a place I can go to share my experience. Um, yeah, so, we, so as Anna said, we, we've used the month of February to really double down and celebrate and share these examples, but we're not going to stop. <laughs> we just used February to focus and we wanted to do it to lead up to the conference today. We, we're developing our communication all, all the time about forums, so we've had some really great help from you to make some little videos and, and do different things about how we communicate about the role of a forum. And it, it's great to mention that we've actually had some support from Contacts Innovation Fund to really help us with a bit of capacity to push this forward. So the Innovation Fund is an initiative in Contact where we can apply as staff for a little bit of money to support something that we might want to trial something new or give some additional capacity. And us on the parent participation team, we really wanted to do that. So we've had some support via some resource for capacity to do this. And we've also had some great support from Contacts Communications team, which has really, um, really helped us to sort of enhance what we'd be doing every day through our, um, through our contract and our everyday job, which is funded by the Department for Education on the parent participation team specifically. So I'm going to hand over to the best bit, which is um, over to Sue to share some of these great examples that you may well have seen already. But just a quick caveat, we haven't shared everything everyone has sent us yet. Um, but we will get to it. So um, just to say, just to let you know, if you don't see yourself up there, we're, we're, we're getting to it as soon as we can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, it really has been absolutely amazing hearing all the successes and um, sharing. We're, we're going to have a real whisk through, though. So I'd encourage you to look at the success pages on the website, and we'll be sharing things in our in, in our um, newsletter and things first. So. Starting with uh, Swindon Send Families Voice and their amazing Reshaping Conversations project, where they talked to 200, um, 200 pe parents about their experiences of, of talking to professionals when sometimes those conversations were, were difficult and could be upsetting. And basically, it's a film of, the, of young people and parents talking about their experiences, and it's, the aim is to make professionals more confident and to think differently about the way they speak to families. And one of the fantastic outcomes that came out of that is that, is that, that training that has come out of it is now mandatory for all children's service staff in Swindon. And then we had a picture of the um, Bedfordshire Play Parks project. So they got some funding and transformed play parks in Bedfordshire, which means that families do no longer have to go outside the borough to find safe and suitable places to play with their children. We have here 
Northum oh, and, and just to say, the Bedfordshire uh, Borough one got 113 shares, which is very high for contact posts, so that was really lovely. Um, so Northumberland Parent Care Forum, they worked with an OT um, to produce a new sensory uh, processing service and website for children and young people. And SNAP, this in, in central Bedfordshire, they did a piece of work, I was listening to what Anna said about PDA earlier, they did a piece of work to try and make a common understanding of PDA. And they basically got that recognised as a condition. They had, it's now included in EHCP plans, and they've got the right support in place for families and young people. And they've got a position statement that everyone's agreed on that people can refer to. Okay, so we've had some really great outcomes already. Um, I particularly like this one. Um, it's all about the twos here. Um, so, so, so Fact Bucks worked in partnership with Tendias Service because they were hearing from families that the service just wasn't meeting families' needs. And it was partly due to capacity and lack of resources. So they um, made a case together. And they, as a result, two new members of staff, full-time members of staff, were recruited. And now, twice as many parents are getting support Waiting times have been halved, and it's now a year-round service rather than term time only. So they've got a new website with lots of resources and films on it, and this means that people can access that information easily, which means that there's more time for the, for the, for the staff to spend with vulnerable families and more complex cases. So it's absolutely, so you can see, amazing outcomes, really. Right. Um, We've also seen lots of examples of improving um, therapies and assessments and support. So this is Greenwich um, Parent Care Forum, who've done, who have done some amazing co-produced videos for those waiting for an autism diagnosis. And that's um, PODS, Tel Telford and Recon, their um, amazing project. Um, just one second, sorry. Uh, working with educational psychologists because they were hearing, particularly from um, children in mainstream schools, that they were really having trouble at home with some of the issues that were arising. So they got a piece of funding and they now run sessions where people can meet other families or have one-to-one -one sessions with educational psychologists. And it's been really successful and, and really successful in reaching out to dads. In, um, right. Uh, Right, um, Essex Family Forum, you can read about them in the, in the annual review, but just to say, you know, they've done an amazing um, supporting your neurodiverse child, um, covering all aspects of, of that. And another lovely outcome, 98% of families who used that resource said that they felt more, more better equipped to support their child. Stockton worked with their local authority and health partners on a Down syndrome pathway for, for Stockton and Hartlepool. It took two years, but they say that's been an amazing, amazing piece of work. They also have been working on the Early Years Provision Strategy um, and called Conception to Reception. Love the title there, guys. Um, okay, Warwickshire, so, so basically that was Early Years. Um, we also had seen lots of stuff about um, improvements in schools. So Warwickshire PCF, they worked with Warwickshire University students and they co-produced this video all about rights around exclusions. South Gloucestershire Parent Carers produced an EBSA, Emotionally Based School Avoidance Toolkit, and they did lots of training um, around that as well. And schools are reporting that they feel better equipped to deal with that issue, and parents are saying that they feel heard uh, better understood and less blamed. Ooh. Okay. And we've also heard about lots of amazing work going on with, as children and young people go into adulthood. So this is Shropshire Parent Care Council and they, they're amazing um, navigator P4A Navigator project where they were hearing it's not just young people that find that transition period it can, can be a very emotionally challenging time for parents as well so this was all about giving them the support as they go through that process and that goes alongside the Buddies project it's a lovely picture there of the Buddies project which is a parent led you know regular group where young people can meet each other and support each other 
We also heard from parents in Tower Hamlets, our voice stronger together, that parents were hearing, uh, were experiencing difficulty dealing with mental health issues that their young people were facing. So six parents and a GP got together and they wrote a guide and then they decided that they would do um, parent, um, parents would deliver training themselves. So there's a parent training program for parents that came out of that. Uh, Kate was saying how important it is that you know, forums reach out to all communities, and we've seen some really amazing um, um, examples of that. So we sort of started off with a graffiti wall, which is you know, a really innovative way of getting people's views in Essex. Hello, Essex. <laughs> and, and also, um, we heard from Family Voice Peterborough about their amazing work reaching out to different communities. And you can read about that in the... I won't go on because we haven't got very long. But an, again, a fantastic outcome is that their forum membership is now 30% members saying, rep, um, saying they identify as non-white British. So it's really diversified their membership. And we talked to Ramu, who is um, the office manager there, about her personal journey, how she, um, be, how she became a member of the forum, and then how she did training, and then now that she's the office manager. So we'll be sharing that, her story next week. We also heard from Greenwich about their parent champion scheme where they're hoping to get a parent champion at every single school and they have an amazing video with loads of diverse um, communities represented there. We also heard from PAC in Brighton about the amazing work they've done with traveller communities. Um, they talked to traveller communities, they heard that one of the issues was um, literacy um, and now they've done some easy read uh, um, um, documentation about their, about their forum so that people can join it. And they also talked to families about what they needed to feel supported. And again, they've got an amazing report on their website. Um, we know since the pandemic, it really became evident how important parents, um, the parent care forums are in terms of promoting well-being and stopping isolation. Um, so North Somerset parent carers, am I? There we are. Um, uh, they heard that 70% of their members were experiencing daily anxiety. So they got together a bit of money to have well well-being days and pamper days with accredited counsellors. Um, and Lewisham have also done some amazing work around that sort of thing, about pamper days and crafting, but also warm hubs where families can come along with their children and get a free warm meal, arts and crafts, etc. And also uh, Stockton have done that. Oh, well, that's, in the, that's in the next one. And basically all these activities are really important because they help connect with communities and help the forum learn in an informal way about the experiences of a range of families. Right. Okay. We've heard... There we go. Just a quick one so you can see the picture. We've heard why parents, um, why people enjoy being part of a forum, and we're, doing, we're going to put more stuff on our website to give parents voices, put that at the forefront. We're also hearing how forums attract their members and keep their members and support them. We'll be sharing some of the work that Sendak from Cumbria did. So we heard, from, we heard from forums that are quite new, like Southampton told us all about their first year, and forums that are... And we did our, our, a video ourselves. So this is a, this is a video called, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Tell me about parent care forums. And this is Nasheen and Jackie being interviewed by uh, Paul Meadows from Send for Dad support group about their very different journeys to become um, members of their forum and what a forum does. So we'll be, after we've finished all the sharing of successes, we'll be encouraging people to join your forum by using this video. Okay, so there's a new four. That, that, there's a new one. That's Southampton, who uh, told us all about their first year, and some that have been around for a long time. So there's no time to tell you about how um, they, how this forum Rochdale uh, celebrated their 21st year. But you can read about that in our newsletter. I'll pass on to Kate now. Okay, so just thank you to everybody that's been involved and sorry that we, we can't go through every example but please check out our success stories pages of the website if you haven't seen yourself here already and keep them coming because we're not naive to the challenges we're going gently with this because we know that if we put things out there the you know areas that are facing challenges also get more attention so we are we are taking it carefully um, and you can always talk to us about that but we do want to promote the role of forums and, and the impact they're making and we've had a lot of interest and we've shared um, through our What's, newsletter, What's New newsletter at Contact. Do sign up if you haven't already. That reaches over 30,000 people. And um, we've, we're sharing through our website and these other places. And thank you for the feedback and the support and for working so kindly with us to do this. Thank you.
I'd like to also say thank you to Anna and Kate and to Sue. That was really lovely to hear what forums are up to and what contact and how they're moving forward. And I think, Anna, I was really struck by your shock statement because actually I think when you've been working in the industry, as we have as parent carers for such a long time, you forget how shocking the stories are sometimes and telling outsiders our stories. Actually, nobody really believes the systems and the potholes that we hit all along the way and it is really, truly shocking. So it's lovely to have you on board and we're delighted that you're joining us.